Welcome to Academia once again. Today we shall study Stokes theory. We have already seen that whenever we need to know the curl of this velocity vector in a particular direction, a closed contour has been taken. For example, when we have calculated curl of V along X direction, we have taken this closed contour C D H G with signs of lengths dy and dz into account. And the curl of v resulted in this expression. Let's take the line integration of v around this closed contour hgcd. Where hg is positive dy GC is positive dz CD is a negative dy since DC is positive dy and DH is a negative dz since HD is positive dz Now this integral can be written as integration v dot dl over hg plus integration over gc v dot dl plus integration of v dot dl over cd plus integration of v dot dl over dh along hg v is vy which is constant and comes out of the integral and integration dl over hg is hg which is dy so it is vy dy similarly along gc v is vz plus dvz which is constant and comes out of the integral and integration dl over gc is gc which is dz here along cd v is vy plus dvy which is constant and comes out of the integration and integration dl over cd is cd which is minus dy along dh v is vz which is constant and comes out of the integration and integration dl over dh is dh which is negative dz now this and this cancel out this and this cancel out what remains is this if we divide both sides by the area enclosed by this line HGCD, the area being dy dz i cap, then it becomes this. You may wonder why have we taken area dy dz i cap? It's because area is a vector quantity with a direction normal to the surface. Since the area is oriented in anticlockwise direction, so by right hand screw rule, the direction is upwards that is coming out of the board which is i cap in this case. Here dz and dz cancel out, dy and dy cancel out. Since this is infinitesimally small volume, so one face of this small volume will also be an infinitesimally small area del s enclosed by a line hgcd where del s tends to 0. Now we already know this right hand part is curl of v along x. This left hand part of the equation can be written as dds of closed integration of v dot dl over the length l by the definition of derivative. So integrating both sides with respect to ds vector we have this. This is the mathematical form of Stokes theorem. Say the vector field VBH that is static magnetic field. From Ampere's law we know for a current carrying where carrying current I a magnetic field is produced around it H which can be written as closed integration of H dot DL over the length L equals to I j is the current density so i can be written as surface integration of 0 ds 
Now by Stokes theorem, this closed line integration of h dot dl can be written as surface integration of curl of h dot ds. Now by comparing these two we get curl of h equals to j. This is the differential form of ampere circuital law. In the next class we shall study the modified ampere circuital law. Thank you. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments below and tell us how do you like our classes. So if you wish to attend our offline classes, you are most welcome to visit our tutorial home at New Goria near Kavishubash metro station. So the students of West Bengal University of Technology, popularly known as WBUT, can subscribe to the YouTube channel of Pandora's Reel and can avail all the classes for free.